Beautiful Pisces, this is Tammy from Spot On Psychic Readings. You all are just the best. <laughs> Thank you all so much for all of your support and all of your amazing comments telling me how much the last reading resonated with you and how much you appreciated it. And it's just so nice to hear that. Um, you know, it really is. So I wanted to come in and do a midweek reading for you all today. We'll see what else is coming up because there's really cool stuff coming for Pisces. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all again. Some of you sent me super chat. Thank you, money. And it's just always icing on the cake. It just makes me feel so appreciated. So thank you all very much. So I'm going to get started now um, with your reading. I'm going to dive in and see what's coming midweek Pisces. Okay. I've already spread the cards and cleared the energy. We're going to see what comes up by feel for you today, Pisces. Oh, a lot of energy here, Pisces. Wow, a lot right here in this first row. I've got a lot of messages for you today, Pisces. Let's see. Gentle old soul messages for you guys. Let's see. All right, let's turn them over and see what we've got. I like to pull them by feel, you know, because then I can get a sense of your energy coming through the cards before I read the cards. So let's see what's coming. Yeah, that one had particular, this one had particularly big energy when I pulled it, um, Pisces. So this is Queen of Cups, and this is representing your energy. Look at the two little white dogs there. <laughs> um, this is the Queen of Cups having to do with someone who's very nurturing, someone who leads with their heart, um, very financially sound, very much in control, sometimes very psychic as well, okay? really into their intuition and their visions very good with animals very nurturing as you can see there okay so that's representing your energy so let's see what's coming up here pisces um the first two is uh seven of cups like you're maybe a little bit um in a fog this week <laughs> in the middle of the week just a little confused about your path and where you want to go and that sort of thing at temporarily at this moment. Your challenge card is the Two of Pentacles. So you might be um, juggling some money, you might be investing some money, figuring out where um, to put money, you know, taking money from this account to put to that account, that sort of thing, okay? Now, in your aura, this is so cool, <laughs> in your aura, Pisces, you've got the Wheel of Fortune again. I know this came up last time in your reading. Here it is, it is just all around you. This is what you're thinking about. It's what is drawn to your energy. It's what's hanging over you at this time. Wheel of Fortune, okay? And what is deeper down is things coming together to make that happen. This is Two of Cups, okay? So for some of you, it could be um, money coming in. And also, if you're looking for a relationship, this is about two people coming together. It's about love and romance. So this can be contracts coming together, this can be people coming together, um, it, all kinds of things, okay? All kinds of things. And we'll get some more clarification as we go along. Looks like some of you are waiting on opportunities to come in. You're waiting for them to show up and uh, waiting for your, basically your ship to come in, okay? As shown right there. And this is about, you know, when I look at things like this clairvoyantly, I see lines of light going out to people's opportunities. And this is definitely showing those uh, wands as lines of light going out to that ship, which is the big opportunity, which will bring your wheel of fortune, <laughs> okay? So Pisces, you are in a situation right now where you, this is nine of pentacles, where you may be just feeling really happy, very, um, have a lot of self-satisfaction. You're proud of yourself, you know, you should be. You've worked hard. Pisces has definitely put in the work and you may just be enjoying your home life at this time. You may be enjoying being at home with your children and your pets, um, enjoying your backyard, you know, that kind of thing. 
and this is um, saying to me sometimes there might be a little bit of loneliness for some of you with this but this is such a good card this nine of Pentacles and this is feeling like you're succeeding with your um, finances you know money your jobs your business you know whatever way your finances are coming in um, you're definitely getting there okay now coming up you might have um, a stalemate of energy coming up in the very near future which which might be this week because I'm doing this as a midweek kind of reading for you this is about there might be some kind of tension that can't be resolved yet um, just some sort of a tug of war okay seems like a relatively small thing because the next thing that comes up is showing you is the Queen of Cups <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much about that they're just I give you everything I get okay there is a Queen of Swords right next to a King of Swords here um, as kind of a final outcome. Now, these, these Swords people are usually very logical. They're very mental. They do a lot of, you know, the deep thinkers. Not always super emotional. All right, let's see um, Pisces. Let's get some clarification on Mr. King and Queen of Swords, okay? Because I think that's somebody that you're going to be dealing with a couple in some way. So let's see why. They don't look bad. They just look not real emotional. They look like they're very, uh, just stay the course, just be neutral, you know, just give them the facts, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, this could be on the job front for a lot of you. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles came up. So I'm using a different deck right now to clarify this for you. I think this tug of war situation may be related to them as well, because this is more swords cards, we'll see. Yeah, it's something that's moving really slow. I've got the Knight of Pentacles here representing what kind of situation you're gonna deal with them. So it may be slow, steady progress with this couple having to do with the job front for you Pisces. Let's see what else. Um, they're trying to cut some, the, this couple here is trying to cut something out. I feel like they're trying to um, end a situation on this job front. Let's see, figure this out here in a second. They're definitely cutting things out because there's a lot of swords coming up. It's like they're, um, and you're going to need some strength and reserve to deal with them. Okay. Where do they show up? There might be some disappointment with them or a feeling of betrayal. But... Um, you come out on top. Here's the victory card. Okay, so Here's what I'm getting so far and I am gonna see if anything else comes up about them So this came up in the original reading Queen King and Queen of Swords a couple. They're clearly a couple They came up side by side same same swords and all that stuff and there is this two of swords such so as tense situation so I feel like it does relate to those two people, okay and what they're telling me, it is on some sort of a job front. This is Three of Pentacles, where you're trying to start something new, or you're trying to start um, a new business or a new project, you know, that kind of thing. And it's slow moving, maybe because of these people. Here's your Knight of Pentacles. So the, it, the money's slow to come in, but it's dependable. It, you know, it is go, moving forward. But these two are trying to cut something out. And I feel like this might be something to do with a promotion or raise for you or that sort of thing. They might be, they may be bosses. Maybe they're business owners. They're trying to cut things out, cut out money. Because there's a sense of being betrayed um, on your part. There's a sense of being um, sad or upset about something with this Five of Cups energy. And you're going to need some strength and reserve shown by the Nine of Wands to keep just pushing forward, you know. Because then what I get is, um, where did it go? <laughs> I've lost it. Because then what I get is the success card. Your victory card comes in. So if you're looking for a raise um, from some sort of a company, you're going to get it. 
okay, because this is your winning card. And if you're waiting for your ship to come in, which it showed earlier in this reading, it's on its way to you because there is a Wheel of Fortune there. So I think these two people are just um, business people. I get the sense they're business people and they're just kind of working to slow things down a little bit and maybe try to cut um, expenses or cut the budget, um, that sort of thing. I feel like these two are in charge and they're just not leading with their heart. You know, Pisces, you usually do. You know, you tend to really lead with your heart. These two are not, so that's why there's a thing of being at odds with these two people, okay? Let's see what else they want to tell us, Pisces. I'm just doing a quick midweek. Um, I think you're gonna find out pretty soon on where those two play a part in your life this week, okay? This is persevere and you will overcome problems, all right? And that's having to do with whatever that slowdown and that delay is, okay? Persevere. This is, um, this is your wish will not be granted, Pisces. So let's see what that's about. Why is it not gonna be granted? Because you have Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so it's definitely gonna be granted about something. Um, but there is a successful outcome to your problems. Okay, so what they're saying is what you, how you wish for this to play out. You know, the wish you're making on how you want this to turn out. Um, may not turn out like this, you may not get this wish, but your problems are going to be overcome and you're going to get success. Okay, so this is the key, successful outcome to whatever problems you're having with those two people, okay? Let's see what else, Pisces. They gave me a whole puzzle to work out here for you today. <laughs> you may already know who those two people are, you know. Shows up as a man and a woman, it could be, you know, could be something different you know, in your situation, but it's really clearly um, masculine, feminine energy, and they're very closely connected and will come through together. Um, this is, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Um, I, I would say not, not goals. <laughs> I think Pisces is very goal oriented. And I'm seeing based on this, you may feel like the money is lacking because you're waiting for more ships to come in. Now, I think money for some of you may be lacking. Money for some of you is definitely there and on the way, and your ship is going to come in big time because we've seen this Wheel of Fortune, okay? So you may be just feeling like, oh, come on, because of this slow-moving energy, okay? Um, look, here's the beetle card. This is good fortune. <laughs> this is like the wheel of fortune. They're saying, don't worry about this. You might feel like something's lacking. You might feel like money, love, goals are lacking, but good fortune is on the way to you, Pisces, okay? Let's give final words for Pisces. This one popped right out. Look at this, the heart card. <laughs> This is about love, deep affection, and caring. So they are definitely, and I saw this last time, they started out with money and Wheel of Fortune and business and things like that, because it's a very important part for a lot of Pisces, of course. It is for everybody. Um, but then they switched over to love, which they're doing now. So um, if you want to keep watching the love portion of this, I'm going to keep going, <laughs> okay? Um, let's see what else comes up on love for Pisces. We've got this one too, the stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So this is for both. There's gonna be a new business opportunity and also news of a birth. And this can be birth of anything new. You know, anything from babies to new businesses to um, buying a house, all those sorts of things. I'm going to switch over to this deck and ask more about love Pisces really quick for you, okay? And um, if you're not interested in love, you may not want to watch this part of the video because um, I'm going to try to at least focus on that, but I can never control what comes up. So we'll see what comes in because they did give me the heart and they're like, talk about love for Pisces. Oh, okay. Glad I did. <laughs> Look at this, this is Knight of Wands, Pisces. This is somebody from afar. This is somebody who's gonna be coming towards you. Things are gonna be really up in the air, comes in fast, and this is somebody who is moving to be with you or is moving into town. You'll meet them, somebody from afar, okay? This is somebody you were drawing in on 
a love sort of um, situation or you may be moving and wherever you're moving to you meet your love interest okay there may be some um, worries about money some worries about money Pisces that's a devil card that jumped in there um, I feel like in this case it is worries about money in connection with moving and that sort of thing let's see what else and I am trying to look into love at this moment okay yeah, so you're going to have a message about money. They're, still, they're going back and forth between love and money, Pisces. Um, trying to get you love messages because they brought that up. There's a message coming about money, definitely. So don't worry about money, all right? Try not to worry about it. Things are going to be fair. Things are going to level out. This is a justice card. Things are going to weigh out, okay, and be balanced in all of your life. Love and money, balance. That's what they're saying. What else does Pisces need to know? Wow, this is so good. There's going to be some kind of a gift. And again, I am right now asking about love because some of you Pisces definitely want to know about love. There's going to be a gift coming in for you, Pisces. Some kind of generosity, somebody making you, uh, like giving you some sort of gift or offer, um, offering you a gift. And it, come, it can come with money, but it can also come with just feelings of the heart like that generosity that I see coming let me go back over to um, these cards just real quick and see what else they want to say just final words for Pisces rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over for some of you Pisces okay final words for Pisces triumph over troubles and obstacles triumph victory that victory card showed up earlier too okay anything else for Pisces last words we've got the whale great worry over nothing <laughs> okay and um, the broken ring there may be a parting of the ways in either romance or business okay so I always like to say you know when one door closes another door opens and that's definitely what I'm getting here because there's, they're saying something's going to end, but something new is coming in because you've got love, deep caring and affection in the heart romance card coming in and good fortune and wheel of fortune waiting for your ships to come in. So I think probably what's going to part is going to be uh, king and queen of swords here. Whoever they are, I feel like they're, they're going to be leaving your life. I think they're going to show up like... Um, in this tense situation that I got earlier, but they're going to be leaving as well. It works itself out. So there's a lot of worry about nothing is basically what these cards are saying. Don't worry too much about whatever these two bring. Okay. It feels like a temporary situation. All right. So you still got wheel of fortune here. I'm going to leave you with that today. <laughs> awesome. Pisces, great to see you again, and thanks again for all of your likes and subscriptions, and we've got quite a big um, Pisces audience here, <laughs> and I'm really happy to have you all, you know, kind old souls for the most part, Pisces is, so anyway, this is great, here's your love card, <laughs> so I will see you all again soon, thanks so much for coming in, it's great to see you, have a great week, okay, bye.